So I have another fixed track for you to experiment with. And basically it's a fixed set of modules that is great for exploring sound design and all sorts of patching techniques and ideas. It's all about limitations after all. This time it's more or less inspired by the Bukla Music Easel. This one is from Arturia with the uh, sequencer, with the Lopez gates, with the pulser, with the complex oscillator and so on. This is more or less the patch. Of course it will be available in the description. We will go quickly uh, through this patch and look at some patching examples also later on. I just want to mention I have a video where I go more in depth about all of those um, Bukla inspired modules here from Nischi. So if you are interested, links in the description. So as I mentioned, we will go quickly through the patch and then have a look at some patching examples. If you download this patch and you create something with it, you create sounds, you create music, um, feel free to tag me and share it with me. I would love to have a listen. So let's go quickly through this patch. Here we have um, the random source, just like on the music easel, we have one, two, three, four, um, basically random outputs, sample and hold outputs that are different from one another. Here in the VCV version, in the Nischi version, you know, well, let's zoom in a bit because they are quite small. In the VCV version, um, they are dual. So we have two sections and also here we have four outputs that are different from one another. So basically we have eight sample and hold outputs. Of course, you can choose to trigger them in all sorts of ways. Then we have the sequential voltage source, source sorry, right, which is the five-step uh, sequence. Here again, we have a dual module so we have two sequences which is more fun of course then we have that's what I added uh, quantizers two quantizers I like to say uh, stay in scale in the musical scale you don't have to do this you can use it also without a quantizer you can remove the quantizers you can use them for sound design if you want and um, I just like to use quantizers in my music and in my patches then we have the envelope right then we have the envelope generator and here we have again a dual envelope generator. We can also um, cycle the envelope. And in this case, we can also modulate the different parameters. Then we have the pulsar. Again, also here we have a dual pulsar, which is basically a trigger generator. Again, in, there is a video where I go um, more in depth on the um, about those uh, different bukla inspired modules from Nischi. Then we have the modulation oscillator. I chose to use the LVCO from Borg Audio because you can change the wave shapes and you can FM it also and sync also to change the different um, timbres. And it has also a slow button that will turn it into an uh, LFO, right? Just like here on the modulation oscillator, you can change between the wave shapes, you can FM it and you can change it uh, change the range right to an LFO. Here I added also a VCA just for amplitude modulation. If you want to use it as a modulation source, you can modulate the amount of modulation. If you want to use it as an oscillator, you can change the timbre also with um, amplitude modulation. Then we have the complex oscillator. I chose to use the wavetable VCO because first of all, you can load uh, any wavetable, complex wavetable you wish. Then we can scan also through the wavetable. So in this case, we can scan from sine to square and everything in between, which is quite interesting. There is FM, there is modulation for the wave shape, there is sync, all of this to change the timbre. I use also the AMRM, amplitude modulation, rig modulation module from Borg Audio, again, for ring modulation and amplitude modulation. And you can choose the carrier and the modulator as you wish and modulate everything as well. And another part of this complex oscillator is a wave shaper. I chose to use Chopping Kinky, which has two inputs and three outputs. So you can use the mix or output A and output B, right? And you can really like this um, use the both oscillators as a sound source or use them as modulation sources and so on. You can also fold modulation, uh, also quite interesting, right? So just like here, we can choose the wave shape, we can change the timbre with wave, uh, wave folding, which is also quite interesting. And of course, this is a modular environment, you can connect everything to anything. Then we uh, arrive to the Lopez gates. Here we have a dual, dual Lopez gates. Um, so we have four basically 
right? Also here you can change the level, you can change and modulation, and you can use the envelopes, you can use gates, you can use triggers, it's a filter, it's a VCA, and so on. On the easel we have a dual low pass gate, here we have a dual dual, so we have four. Now on the easel there is also, I believe it's white noise, you can choose to use also um, to send white noise to the preamp. Here in this case, I thought, why not having a collection, a plethora <laughs> of noises with noise plethora from Befaco because it's interesting, it's a fun module, it has filters, it has all sorts of different noise types, uh, white as well, and all sorts of different algorithms. So why not? Perfect for sound design really fun for all sorts of patching ideas and stuff like this. Then we have the keyboard on the uh, easel, of course, we have also an arpeggiator and stuff, but uh, basically the keyboard is also quite interesting. So I chose to use the 12 key from Impromptu. We have three octaves, as you can see, and you can chain as many as you wish. If you want more octaves, of course, you can remove it altogether. If you're using a MIDI controller, a MIDI keyboard, or an MPE controller, even more interesting, um, can be quite, quite fun. Um, in this case, we have also velocity, right? So we can, with the mouse, also control velocity. I will show you this later on in the examples. And then we have the output section. Um, I chose to add also a mixer, a four-channel stereo mixer. If you want to attenuate things, you can also mix CV here. If you want panning modulation, I like uh, panning modulation. Mute, unmute, control levels of things. I think it's quite... Um, um, helpful to have a mixer. It has also direct outputs, so you can right, just attenuate stuff and send them back to a different um, source or to a different destination. Then I uh, added also, of course, delay and reverb. Reverb is life. In this case, it's a sort of a plate reverb. On the easel, it's a spring reverb, but nevertheless, it's still a reverb, and reverb is important at least in my opinion, and also a delay. Of course, you can route things in all sorts of different ways because this is a modular environment, unlike the easel, which is so-called semi-modular. Uh, here we have full modularity. You can do basically anything you can think of as long as there are CV inputs. And of course, you can add also modules to this and remove if you want. Then I also chose to add the notes. Um, if you want to uh, write a few notes for yourself, so if you shared a patch with other people and you want to have a few notes, how to start the patch, uh, different things you can tweak and so on. So this is more or less the patch. Again, if you download it and you use it and you create stuff with, this, with it, please tag me. You can leave a comment in this video. You can tag me on Facebook, Twitter, whatever, Instagram. Um, let's have a look at a few patching examples. So here's the first example, a very simple example. Um, you can see in the notes, it says trigger both pulsers. One will be the main clock and the other one will be a reset for the sequencer. So if I trigger both of them, right, we get the sound. And what I'm doing here, I have again, the first pulsar as the main clock driving uh, the sequencers. I have the main voice, the wavetable oscillator going through the wave shaper or the wave folder chopping kinky. This is going to the low pass gate, right? I'm using the envelope to open the low pass gate. And I have here the decay sequenced by the sequencer. I have also the FM amount sequence. So I'm using the modulation oscillator to FM, the complex oscillator, but it's going first through the VCA. So you can see there is just one step from the second sequence opening this VCA. So we get a sort of a rhythm out of it. Random modulation to the, oh, it's here, to the position of the wavetable. Right, and I can control the pitch. Again, a very simple, basic um, uh, patch. I can control the pitch and the timbre with the 12 key keyboard. This is, of course, going through delay and river, but I can change again the pitch and have the velocity output going to the wave folder amount. So if I take the mouse and I drag the mouse up and down on the key, down will be zero velocity, up will be 100% uh, velocity, so I can really modulate and control the wave folding. Let's have a look. Right?
This is more of a Krell style generative patch. I have here, if I zoom in a bit, I have the end of cycle output of the envelopes going up like this, going back and triggering the gates, right? So they are triggering themselves whenever they end their cycle, which means basically that they are cycling, they are looping. And the end of cycle is also triggering the sample and hold which is modulating the envelope. So there is a sort of a modulation feedback loop here. The envelope is triggering the sample and hold, which is modulating the envelope, which is triggering the sample and hold, which is modulating the envelope, and so on and so forth. So again, a sort of a Krell style patch, a generative patch, right? I'm also using the sample and hold as pitch information, but first I attenuate it with the mixer, and from there it's going to the quantizers. Again, I like using quantizers you don't have to if you don't want it. Um, I have both oscillators, the modulation oscillator and the complex oscillator as sound sources, right? I'm uh, sending them through the low pass gates. I also have noise here. Let me, you know what, let's start this patch. As you can see here, it says trigger both envelopes. So I'm going to trigger both envelopes to start this patch. You can hear it's also quite noisy because I'm using a noise here as modulation source. I have white noise FMing both oscillators just a bit. I have another noise source here modulating the size of the reverb. Right, quite noisy. Generative, basically looping envelopes with sample and hold. So this is the last example, something a bit more complex. Of course, all of the patches will be available for you to download if you want to take a closer look. But here again, we have to trigger both pulsars and there are also some performance uh, notes here. So let me start this patch again, trigger both pulsars. Right, I have here um, the complex oscillator as a sound source and the modulation oscillator as a modulation oscillator in this case. There's a sequence coming from the sequencer. I'm using again the envelopes at the Lopez gates, also in this case at the wave folder. And here, for example, I can change, it's written also here by changing the dry wet knob on the AMR module, I can change the timbre of the sequence. Right, also by changing the FM attenuator and also the wave folder. Right, so, the, so there are also already three ways we can change the timbre of the main sequence. And by clicking any key, never mind which one, on the 12 key, we can um, progress the second sequence. We can uh, trigger the second sequence to move one step forward. Instead of using this small button here, I chose to use uh, the 12 key, so never mind which key. And the voice itself, this is quite fun, you can uh, give it a try, is coming from the second pulser here. Again, it's also self-cycling, if you will. And it's uh, cycling it or uh, oscillating at audio rates, which means that it's basically a voice. And I used, I went step by step, through the second sequence here and just changed the rate of this pulsar which basically changed the frequency. So if I click this once, you will hear the frequency of the second voice changes, the uh, pitch, right? And another time, five steps. Right, so you can also use the pulsers as sound sources, which is quite, quite fun. Again, also noise here, lots of modulation and all sorts of different things. And of course, you can use this patch also as a part of a bigger patch. You, uh, also, the selection file, which is basically this preset, will be available for you to download. And um, so you can just load it into an already existing patch and add other voices to it. Right, so here I have a few more voices. Again, I will click this button here just to reset everything. It's also written in the notes module. 
have a kick and a snare from Tremor 2, a bass with a percussive vibration, I have some glitchy noises with perk all and Corona Blob 2, so if I unmute this, I can perform this patch a bit. Lots of fun, lots of things to explore. It's a small patch, but again, limitations are a doorway to creativity. So I hope you will explore this patch, this selection, this preset, whatever you want to call it. Please again, tag me if you create something. Uh, if you want more information about the different Bookla modules, uh, there is a separate video on my Patreon. Again, links in the description. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for joining. I hope you had fun. Cheers.